Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank y'all so much for being patient. I know my email had got kind of uh, full over the past few months, and I want to say thank you for those who actually sent me the story because I did get it a while ago, but we're just now visiting the story, so I thank you guys so much for your attention to this summer, this story. I said this summer. This story about a little girl by the name of Summer Wells, okay? Now, the father of this five-year-old girl who vanished from her home in Tennessee a month ago offered a grim prediction that his own daughter is no longer alive, and that's according to the biological father, this guy. He said, I'll see her in the resurrection. So he already believes the worst. Very crazy. That beautiful baby that you see right there, her full name is Summer Moon Utah Wells. And she was reported missing from her Rogersville home on June 15th, last month. That was exactly 30 days ago. Around 5.30 p.m. after her parents said that she went into the basement alone and then she disappeared. Which I'm going to tell you guys, that already does not sit well with me. They say she went to the, to the basement of the house and she disappeared. I will give you guys my theory here in just a moment. Let me tell you a little more about the story. <clears throat> In an interview with the local newspaper Monday, Summer's father by the name of Donald Wells said that he doesn't expect the girl will be found alive. Statistically speaking, there's a good chance that she's already dead. Donald told the news, I hate to think that I love her with all my heart. And I do partially understand where he's coming from and I do mean partially. We'll come back to that. If nothing else, he continued, I'll see her in the resurrection. As long as I keep the commandments and do what I'm supposed to do, I will see her. Summer's parents have maintained that she was lured away from the home by a stranger, but authorities have not labeled the case as an abduction, have not. They have not labeled this case as an abduction and say that they are still exploring all possibilities. Please bookmark that. We'll come back to it. Summer had been playing outside, planting flowers with her mother. Candace Bly and her grandmother, Donald, previously told the news and went inside on her own. She was reportedly wearing a pink shirt and gray shorts and may have been barefoot. In his news report interview, Donald suggested that someone may have been hiding in the weeds they're waiting for her to go into the basement. I know things like this can happen. They have happened. But I just generally think logically, what's the likelihood of that random thing happening the way that he said it? I just think that sounds really crazy. It looks like they're kind of in the middle of nowhere. I can't really tell. Let me back this up and let y'all look at that house. Or at least that place of residence. Right here. It looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. A little, you know, a little unkept. But, you know, it's, some people live that way. I don't think it's just the worst thing in the world. But, you know, it is what it is but it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. Like it don't look like you got a bunch of neighbors. It doesn't look like a neighborhood. Now I could be wrong about all of that. Okay. But it just doesn't sound right to me. And I'm going to tell you guys real quick before we get to that point, while they're out searching the woods, searching the ponds, searching all around for this baby. And a lot of these cases that we've talked about, usually the person that you should be looking at is right under your nose. Do you not remember that story out of Las Vegas, Terrell Rhodes? Amari Nicholson was interviewing right there on camera. Do y'all remember the mother who killed the father's son and she stood right there and gave an interview? Then we had another set of parents who gave an interview 
and they ended up arresting the biological father. That's been happening a lot this year. All I'm saying is sometimes when you're out looking everywhere else and you don't have any credible suspects anywhere else, why would they have sought out your house? How would they have known the girl was at your house? Why would they have chosen your place, your daughter? Why? Not saying that it wouldn't happen, but all I'm saying is that sometimes when, you, when you're looking everywhere else, you usually need to look right where you started. Let's keep going. In the newspaper interview, he suggested that somebody might have been hiding in the weeds, waiting for her to go into the basement. That's very specific. He said he, his belief was confirmed when police dogs picked up her scent in the backyard and followed it through the woods, eventually reaching the end of their road. We've had several people sneaking around there, but we've had them sneaking around at night, he said. We've never had someone up there at 530 in the afternoon that we know of. They didn't come up the driveway. They came up a dog trail from the woods, he said. The dog that, that they used, that's where the scent took them down through the woods, not the driveway. It's really discouraging, Donald added. Only God can turn it, this around at this point. The police can't come up with anything, he said. All these people on Facebook all over the world can't come up with anything. Nobody can. Only God can. Donald also said he would do anything to have his baby back and has put his faith in God. I've made up my mind not to let Satan win. I've still got to move forward. I still got to go to work. I still got to try, even though I miss her. We live in an evil world. I'm not the first one to lose a family member. All sorts of tragedies have happened since the beginning of creation. There have been all kinds of bad stuff going on. Despite these tragedies, though, he said he's not going to go back to drinking. That's kind of a random thing to bring up. The fact that you used to be a drunk, used to be a lush. Why would you bring that up? To me, that's a yellow flag. That's a yellow flag. Let's put that away for now. I'm not going to let Satan convince me to go to drinking. Like Satan has anything to do with that. But anyway, Donald said in that phone interview with the local news, I'm not going down that road. I chose life. I chose God. I get what he's saying, but then again, I don't. Let me see if I can try to shorten this just a little bit because there is a lot to this story. Both he and the mother have criminal records previously. Uh-oh. Are we going to get into criminal records? Yes. Lee says she thinks it's a red flag. Okay, I'm with you. I think it's a yellow flag. She thinks it's a red flag. But Lee has a hell of a lot more experience in this field than I do. And I tend to trust my sister on that. So shout out to Lee in the chat. Both him and the mom have previous criminal records. Donald was arrested on domestic assault charges in 2020, very recently, leading Candace to file for an order of protection against him, writing, I am afraid for my children and myself. Huh. Huh. Interesting, huh? She said, I'm afraid for my children and myself. Life or death situation, right? Y'all still think it's kind of far-fetched? Let's keep going. She later asked for the order to be dismissed and the charges against Donald were dropped on April, of tw uh, April 21st, two months before the little girl's disappearance. That also sounds very fishy. Two months before the child disappeared, and you drop the order of protection. Very interesting. 
because the mother was also worried about the safety of her children and now something has happened to the safety of one of her children, right? Both parents were ordered to take a lie detector test as part of the investigation into the to disappearance and they reportedly passed. Let's skip some of this. They said they passed a lot of detector test. He added that his three sons and mother-in-law were also questioned about Summer's disappearance and claimed that in the aftermath, someone created a fake social media profile for him. And then they put on there that I buried someone, some, some other woman's body at the lake. So the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation has been looking in the lake, which you guys can see from that picture. Let me see if I can go back right here. They've been looking in the lake. But he said, it's just ridiculous what people are doing. Donald also said that Summer loved me and I don't know why. I never had someone love me that much in my life. And it's been awesome between me and her, he claimed. It's, it, it really has killed me since she's been gone. That's a real bad usage of words. It killed me. Okay, all right. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Got a little bit more to tell, y'all bear with me. Tennessee investigators have since received nearly 1,000 tips. 1,000 unique tips in connection with the disappearance of summer but the hawkins county sheriff's office said that none of that none of those leads have panned out so far right now everything is still on the table we're still trying to find out what happened to her and everybody's still a person of interest investigators are still looking for a red pickup truck that may have been nearby when summer went, went missing and asking neighbors to check their home security footage for any evidence that might locate her the circumstances surrounding her disappearance have yet to be determined and have not yet been announced. And, and let me see. And authorities have not yet announced a person of interest in this case. Tennessee Bureau of Investigation announced special agent in charge, Shelly Smitherman, said that the case has been frustrating for law enforcement. Initial searches were marred by poor cellular service, which means they were out in the middle of nowhere, like I thought and challenging terrain in the woods near the home, and they have still not received a credible lead. Now, typically on an Amber Alert, within a couple days, we have a tip or a lead, or have an idea if they've been abducted, if they may have left it, uh, maybe left into the woods, she said in another video posted on Twitter on Tuesday. Somebody saw something that leads us, hopefully to get an answer where the child went or if they were taken. We're going to have some tip or lead, she said, adding that the fact that they have not received such information in this case is the frustrating part of law enforcement. Now, Summer is described to be as about three foot tall, weighing approximately 40 pounds with a closed crop, blonde hair and blue eyes. Anybody with information or asked or, 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 or know about her whereabouts is asked to call the, the uh, I can't talk. Let me calm down. The Hawkins County Sheriff's Office at 423-272-7121 or call 800-T-B-I-F-I-N-D. T-B-I-F-I-N-D. Let me give you the fair usage. Let's listen to a couple of news videos. Let's get it. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. All right, here we go. Let's get it. It's been more than a week since five-year-old Summer Wells went missing. We are more concerned than ever and desperate to find her. The child was last seen at her home in Hawkins County, Tennessee. Law enforcement and concerned citizens combed through the area, navigating rough terrain in some places, but have yet to find her. The investigation hasn't turned up much information either. 
The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation says the circumstances surrounding her disappearance remain unclear. While we've not ruled out an abduction, we simply do not have any evidence at this point to confirm that's what occurred. It's possible that she wandered off and is lost and afraid. Summer Wells is described as three feet tall, weighing 40 pounds with blonde hair and blue eyes. She was last seen wearing gray pants with a pink shirt. She was possibly barefoot. The local sheriff is asking the community to do their part to bring her home. It's easier for you to check your own property than it is to send officers there. We have not stopped. As Captain will tell you, we've been 24-7 for six days now. So we desperately need help from the community now searching their own property. Anyone with information on Summer Wells is urged to contact the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation or the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano. Here's the next video. An update now on continuing Amber Alert searches for Summer Wells. News Channel 5's Nick Barris is in the Five Alert Center. And Nick, it seemed like a quiet weekend for search crews. Yeah, you know, it was quiet and sadly, Amy, you know, not much new to report, though. You know, they've emphasized time and again, no one is giving up on this search, but it's now been, think about it, nearly three weeks since the five-year-old vanished from her home in far northeast Tennessee. So here now is the latest. We do know the TBI has now received roughly eight hundred tips regarding the missing Rogersville girl, but still nothing. You know, rumors on social media run rampant, but none. Nothing is proved to be credible. And trust me, if there is... I'm not sure if the TBI actually confirmed that they passed a lie detector test. That part I'm not sure of, but I would definitely love to hear from them on that. I wish they would clarify that. This is a new development. We'll hear from the TBI or FBI or the Hawkins County Sheriff. They are under enormous pressure to solve this case. And if there is something to report, you know, they will release it promptly as long as it does not jeopardize the investigation. Um, unfortunately, they haven't had anything new to share. But I do know that uh, at least at this point, more is going on behind the scenes that has been made public. But the frustrating part right now, Amy, is no new leads. And Nick, what do your sources tell you about the current status of the investigation. After three weeks without finding any trace using the canine units out there and the like, they doubt that Summer just wandered off and got lost in the woods. So what are the options other than that? The focus right now is that this likely means she was abducted or the victim of foul play. Summer alive or dead may well have been taken from the area or somehow she may be concealed nearby. The key now is for someone to come forward with information. Keep in mind there remains more than $50,000 in reward money. Anyone with information on this case asked to call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Send it back to you in the studio. Law enforcement spoke for the first time on camera today in more than two weeks on the disappearance of Summer Wells. You'll remember families said they last saw the five-year-old at their home in Hawkins County in the Beach Creek community on June 15th. Bianca Murray spoke with one of the lead agencies in the case. Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson tells me everything is on the tables. Investigators are not ruling out an abduction or that she might have walked away from her home. Their only goal is to find Summer, but they're saying it's difficult with circulating rumors on social media. In my position, in my detectives, everywhere we go, everybody wants to share their opinion, which is, we understand that. But 99.9% uh, .9 of the things that people are posting or saying, we've already looked into and taken care of. Lawson says anyone living in roughly five mile radius of the Beach Creek community. Y'all see that? That's literally in the middle of nowhere. They don't have a bunch of neighbors out there. That's what I'm saying. I think the people that might be guilty of this might not be that far. Might not be that far off at all community should look at their trail or security camera footage again from the day summer disappeared and sometimes people will think well i saw that but it probably wouldn't mean anything but the least little thing to us may be something huge so that's why we ask for the public everything they see to continue to check their property you know their outbuildings and different things like that what kind of a toll has this taken on your department mainly physically and emotionally a lot of my officers have small children, like my grandchildren, and, and we know what goes through our mind if that would be our child or grandchild. And uh, 
And no, I don't believe that little girl would have just went and wandered out there and went out and got lost. I don't believe that excuse either. Children are very smart. Babies are very smart. Plus, us spending so much time at Beach Creek for three weeks, but my office never stopped. We're still answering all the same amount of calls, still, you know, having bring people to jail, investigating other cases, and it just wires you out. Investigators are still hoping to find a potential witness who drives a red or maroon truck that was spotted in the Ben Hill Road neighborhood the afternoon of June fifteenth. The biggest thing is the ladder racks and the white buckets means that they do some kind of work and they that vehicle was seen in the area sometime during her disappearance. And we're just wondering if they saw something. They, they may hold that little piece I was talking about earlier that would blow this thing wide open, let us know where something is if they saw something. And we've searched and found so many of them, just not the right one yet. Sheriff Lawson tells me that if anyone has a credible tip, not a social media rumor or opinion, but something they may have seen near the Beach Creek community that day to let authorities know. That's the biological father. Let me let this play out. So when her mother come in, she says, well, it's summer. She went down in the basement. She didn't answer, so she went down there and she was gone. So she went out the basement door, which was unlocked, and we haven't seen her since. This morning, Donald Wells spoke on camera for the first time since his daughter disappeared. He's, that's some of the okay. Please come home. He says it's unlikely Summer would leave the house on her own. Wells says the last time anyone in the family saw Summer was when she entered the house to play in the basement after gardening with her mother and grandmother. Wells also spoke about his gut feeling about Summer's whereabouts. Some bad person grabbed her, but we have no idea. Wells says law enforcement have covered leads on area sex offenders and drug addicts. We're trying to think. Now this is the part that the people in the chat we're talking about they said this area has sex offenders in it let me back that up i don't remember what radius they just said but let me let me let y'all hear this part again let's not skip this because this could very well be a big break in the case matter of fact if they know that they have registered sex offenders in the place then you know what i would do i would round every single one of those bastards and bastards round them up question them all search their houses search their property search their cars that should be legal especially when a child in the area that you live in turns up missing do y'all understand what i'm saying if y'all think that's a violation of their rights then i just think when it comes to our children sometimes it's okay to violate some rights a few of them for in the sake in the name of our babies, especially if they're sex offenders, then they've already proven that they're dangerous around children. Let's hear that again about these sex offenders out there in this area. Let's hear that again. Bad person grabbed her, but we have no idea. Wells says law enforcement have covered leads on area sex offenders and drug addicts. We're trying to think, beat our brains out. We're covered everything that we can think of already. Investigators say they have followed up on 85 tips so far. Wells says he is overwhelmed by the massive numbers of personnel on site. We just really appreciate everybody. If you have proof of that in the chat, please look that up. I'm not gonna put that on that man if that's not accurate. <clears throat> People are saying that there's something on him. I cannot put that on him. All he's admitted to is that the fact that he used to drink and that there was a there was a uh, a protection order against him that the mom put on him. That other part, unless y'all can verify in the chat, look it up and see if that's true or not about his record. Because if that's not true about him, I can't put any something like that false against him. I can't do it. Now, covered everything that we can think of already. Investigators say they have followed up on 85 tips so far. Wells says he is overwhelmed by the massive numbers of personnel on site. We just really appreciate everybody trying to help that they have, law enforcement and uh, all these volunteers that are here. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. 
That was John Janko reporting those sentiments shared by Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson, who said he has never seen a show of public support like this in his four decades of law enforcement. Yeah, today the TBI and Sheriff Lawson said Summer's family does continue to uh, cooperate in this ongoing search for the little girl. They say that at all points the family has uh, continued to be uh, assisting in this process. It's been nearly a month since five-year-old Summer Wells was last. I hear what y'all are saying, but your comments are being shown on the screen so people can still go back and read what you wrote. So if that is true, then we'll have to revisit this. We'll have to come back to it and talk about this again. But for now, I just want to be out of respect. I want to be very careful. But y'all, like I say, if y'all know something that I don't, then fine. You can definitely talk about it in the chat. But I just want to make sure that I don't speak something that I don't know about. According to has been a little over three weeks has been a little over three weeks since five has been it's been nearly a month since five-year-old summer wells was last seen according to the tbi more than 900 tips have been called in but none have resulted in a solid lead a child psychologist with hawkins county school says they'll have online resources for parents at the start of the school year but as far as my closing thoughts all we could do is hope and pray at this point we're spreading this information and we're spreading as much as we can. We don't want to put too many rumors out there because there's already a lot of them out there and rumors a lot of times aren't super helpful. So I want to definitely make sure we just stick with what we know for right now. And we know that the little girl is still missing. And I think that if there are uh, sex offenders in that area, I think they all need to be rounded up, investigated, search their properties, Search for leads, search for something. Somebody around there has to know something and I don't think it's very far away. But I hope they look more into that and I hope we, we can get an answer. Even better, I hope that we can get this baby back alive, okay? So y'all please keep her in your thoughts, keep her in your prayers. We'll come back and visit this again and hopefully the next time we talk about Summer, Utah, excuse me, Summer, let me put some respect on her name, Summer Moon Utah Wells. The next time we talk about her, we hope that she's been found and she's well. Okay. Thank you guys so much for listening with an open mind and an open heart and from my heart to yours. I love you guys. We'll see you guys on the next stream. Okay. Thank you. And y'all have a good day. Peace.